first use case is SaaS visibility. And this is um, oftentimes the launching off point for Netscope. So once you steer traffic to the Netscope security cloud, it's about providing visibility into not only cloud and web usage, but all of the thousands of cloud applications uh, that are accessible by employees. And this is about providing uh, deep visibility in context of the user, the device, the location, the activity they're performing, and also assessing the risk with the application itself. So let's go ahead and switch right into the demo of this. And the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna take a look at uh, the homepage. So I'm logged in to uh, my homepage. I'm sitting here in my home office in Northern California. And I'm, as you can imagine, I'm steering my, uh, my Netscope, I'm sorry, my traffic to the Netscope security cloud. And I get a summary dashboard that basically has my cloud and web usage, uh, you know, the typical number of risky websites that have been blocked, uh, you know, data protection incidents, malware events, uh, some cloud usage uh, details, et cetera. But what I wanna do is I wanna actually go into our cloud competence index. So this is our database of more than 34,000 different cloud applications. And what we've done is we've assessed the risk posture of each of these cloud applications. Our research team has gone in and has researched uh, these cloud applications. Let's look up Zippy Share as an example. Using more than 50 different criteria, we've uh, basically assessed it a score of zero to 100, uh, 100 being the most secure. You can see Zippy Share scores a 23, so, and it's red, so not very good. Um, across a number of different dimensions. Uh, many of these are modeled after the Cloud Security Alliance's cloud controls matrix. So you get this notion of app risk, and later on we'll show you how you can bring in the results of this risk score uh, into a contextual uh, policy. So app risk is kind of the first uh, dimension. Now, the other important dimension is being able to uh, understand uh, activities and, and what have you. And we're gonna see this in a number of use cases that we go through today, but our event by event monitoring uh, tool that we have built into the NextGen Secure Web Gateway, we call Scope It, is where you basically get a, uh, a rundown of what activities are being performed, uh, alerts on sensitive data movement and risky activities, et cetera. And we'll go deeper into this. Last part of visibility that I want to showcase here is our advanced analytics. So in addition to being able to drill down into uh, the details and track specific activities and risky uh, behaviors and whatnot, there's also the, the robustness of the analytics that you can pull into um, very beautiful visualizations, uh, generate uh, out of the box reports that you can bring into uh, upper management to help uh, you know, visualize and, uh, and communicate uh, your risk posture. This is an example of a cloud risk assessment report, one of the many of the dozens of reports uh, that Netscope provides where you get a view, in this case, the last 30 days, the percentage of cloud applications that are risky, uh, the breakdown of of cloud usage by the score and also tying that to activities. Uh, the, uh, the, uh, you know, the DLP events, uh, compliance uh, posture, uh, certification breakdown. Um, you also get interactive visualizations such as the SAN key that's looking at uh, the source location. And this is my demo tenant. I've been cooped up in this home office for so long that everything is coming from the United States here. But here you have the destination of all of the apps that I've been using, uh, where those apps are hosted as well. And it looks, oh, it looks like there's one instance of Office 365 OneDrive that is actually hosted in the Netherlands. So you can follow uh, patterns of data and drill down from here. It's also important to note that each of these widgets is powered by more than 500 metadata attributes. And you can actually go in and create custom reports and edit uh, the out of the box reports as well. So this is again, a new way to think about uh, what visibility is. And this is again, a blind spot for existing secure web gateways with Netscope, you get 
deep visibility into cloud usage and helping you assess the risk with that cloud usage so you can make it more informed decisions on what you want to do next.